I just traveled from Poland to Canada, and as many of you know, Canada is one of the most difficult and complicated countries to get into right now during this global pandemic. And with their new hotel quarantine rule, it's only gotten harder. And so today I'm going to share with you my experience of returning to Canada in the spring of 2021 and give you the details of what exactly it's been like. Flying to Canada used to be as simple as simply getting a ticket and getting on the flight. But this time I had an entire checklist of things I needed to do before even getting to the airport. First of all, I had to book a three night hotel stay in a government approved hotel. The cost of the hotels ranged from about 375 a night to over 600 for the super fancy ones. And that's just for one person. I personally chose one of the mid range ones because I wanted a hotel room that was gonna have enough space where I could actually work out and I needed the food to be decent and not just like a single piece of toast for breakfast as I had read on some Twitter stories. I ended up choosing the Fairmont waterfront, which ended up costing about 450 Canadian a night before taxes and the grand total was just over $1,500. The booking process was actually pretty easy and well done. I was able to do it all online. I ended up actually calling in to book at the last minute just because I had a few questions, but it was all super straightforward. I could have finished it on the website and the call center people were actually super friendly and helpful. And I was able to successfully book the room that I needed a week before I departed. Secondly, I needed to book and take a COVID-19 PCR test that was within 72 hours of my final departure time to Canada. Thankfully, my team and my Polish family were able to help me find a clinic in the city where I was gonna be. It's pretty simple, I was able to book ahead and then just showed up on the day of the test, got the swab. It ended up costing me about 500 Polish zwati, which converts to about 160 Canadian dollars. The third step in my pre-flight checklist was to pre-register for my arrival COVID test. So Canada currently has like a three phase testing approach for anyone flying into Canada. You have to land with a test, you have to get tested on arrival, and you also have to get tested 10 days after arrival. And so I had to pre-register for my arrival test. It was pretty simple. I was able to find a link on the Canadian government website. It led me directly to the Life Labs portal where I was able to set up an account, confirm my arrival time and pre-register for my arrival COVID test. Lastly, I had to submit my 14 day quarantine plan on the Arrive Can app to the Canadian government. Everyone in Canada has to do a 14 day quarantine. So even after my three day hotel stay, I have to finish the remaining 11 days isolated, not in contact with anyone. And so I submitted my plan. My plan is to go to my parents' house. Thankfully, my room is in the basement and I'll be able to have my own bathroom and shower and kind of living area. And so thankfully, I'll be able to be home and still avoid contact with my parents to protect them and protect my family and finish my quarantine. So on the app, you basically just confirm that you're not gonna be in contact. You state the address and a place where they can contact you, where the police might come visit you or a number where they're gonna call in to check on you. And so I submitted that. And now I was finally ready to get on the plane. On the day of travel, it was pretty smooth. The Krakow airport, which is where I was departing from initially, was quite empty. So both check-in and security were simple and fast. They did confirm my negative COVID test upon check-in and then we were off to Frankfurt. Frankfurt airport was definitely a bit busier. It wasn't super crowded, but it also didn't feel like the ghost town airport. So it's kind of just in the middle there. They had every second seat by the boarding gates taped off to encourage social distancing. And as I went through the EU border control, there was also a security guard making sure that we kept our distance. Boarding the flight from Frankfurt to Vancouver took quite a while. There was a long lineup. They had to not only verify our passports and our tickets, but they also had to verify our COVID test once again. And we're double checking to see if we had the Arrive Can app downloaded and filled out. The plane was surprisingly full. It looked like economy was about 75% full, which honestly surprised me a little bit. But then I guess Frankfurt is such a huge hub. There's people coming from everywhere back to Canada. Then we got to Canada and that's where the real fun began. Upon landing, I went straight to customs as usual. But this time, not only did they have to verify all my entry documents, they also had to verify my quarantine plan and my hotel quarantine reservation confirmation. After that, I was able to go pick up my bags and at the exit, they had fences set up, so it kind of funneled us in the right direction. I gave my customs form to the border agent and then headed down this line, which led me to my COVID test. I stood in line for about 20 minutes waiting to check in with the nurse, and then the check-in took about five minutes, and then I was headed down the next line straight to get my COVID swab. They had a whole testing station set up with a bunch of booths next to each other. I was ushered in, it was pretty slick. There was a nurse right there. I gave her my form and my passport, and I got my COVID swab. After the swab, I was once again funneled into the exit on my way out. They gave me my day 10 COVID test kit. And then at the exit, I just had to check out with the security guard. I told them where my hotel quarantine was. And then I was able to call a taxi and we drove to the Fairmont waterfront. 
where I spent the next three days. Check-in at the hotel was pretty easy. They had a side desk to check in their quarantine guests and even a separate elevator to take us to our rooms. Upon check-in, the lady explained that I would most likely receive my test results within 12 to 24 hours, at least from what she had seen already. And basically, as soon as I would receive my negative test result, I would be free to go to my final destination of quarantine, but the whole hotel stay is non-refundable. And so basically it would cost $1,500 whether I stay zero nights or three nights. And unfortunately, this is a government implemented policy and applies to every single one of the government approved quarantine hotels. She gave me a printed off menu and explained how I needed to call down to order my meals. And she also told me that there was actually an outdoor patio that I could book for an hour each day just to get a breath of fresh air. I actually didn't know about this amenity before I booked, but it was music to my ears and I booked a one hour slot for that same day right then and there. I then came to my room where I have stayed for the past two days. The room is super nice, it's pretty spacious and has a king size bed. It also has a great view of the city in Vancouver Harbor and the bathroom is nice and has a big walk-in shower, which is a bit too short for me, but what's new there? The food has also been great. Honestly, this was what I was most nervous about. I actually brought a whole bag of snacks just because of the horror stories I'd read about on Twitter about this quarantine food. They have an a la carte menu for each meal. So you just select the items you want and they bring it to your room within an hour. So I haven't had any issues with that and the food has actually been like super delicious. And so I'm very grateful in that regard. I've also really enjoyed the patio. I've used it every single day. Just call and book an hour. There's always been plenty of spaces. They have a pretty cool setup actually where it's taped off into different sections. So you just go into your section and you're able to take off your mask and enjoy the fresh air. There's a little table and a chair so you can just hang out. The view of the city is also amazing. So that's a really nice touch. And I've been lucky to have nice weather for the past few days. So it's just really nice to get outside, feel the sun on your skin, get some fresh air. Honestly, a game changer when you're stuck inside a hotel for a long period of time. As far as entertaining myself during this time, it hasn't been hard. I also feel like because I play overseas, I'm used to being alone for extended periods of time and keeping myself busy. I've been working out first thing in the morning when I wake up, which has been really good, I think. Just kind of get the blood flowing, get a little sweat, feel good for the day. Then I've just been making videos and TikToks, editing vlogs, hanging out and relaxing a bit. And then also just planning the logistics of my next few weeks, what I'm gonna do in quarantine and my training plan for the weeks leading up to the national team training camp here. As far as the COVID test that I received upon arrival, I received my results exactly within 24 hours of my plane landing. <laughs> way too nervous for these. Oh my god, they make this so, like you have to, okay, download, we gotta download it. Negative, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. It was negative, so I'm super grateful for that. So technically I could have left and gone to my final destination of quarantine right then and there, but I figured I might as well stay since it's not refundable, get my money's worth out of this little hotel mini vacation, and also the logistics of getting my car, which I need to drive home weren't that fluid. So I figured I'll just go with the flow. And so I was fine to stick out the extra day and a half in hotel quarantine. Tonight is the last night of my booking. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up super early. I'll probably be up at four o'clock anyways, thanks to jet lag. So then I'll just pack my bags, take an Uber up to West Vancouver where my car will be, pick it up, and then I get to drive 12 hours north to Houston. I'm super excited to finally see my parents after eight months. Not that I'll be able to hug them or go near to them. There is another 11 days of quarantine and a COVID test I must pass before I can do that. But at least I'll be able to wave to them in person. <laughs> and so I'm just trying to make the most of this quarantine time here, trying to work on some extra stuff, some organizing, some logistical stuff that I tend to put off because I'm too busy. As we know, quarantine is a great time to really reflect and dig down and work on the stuff that you've been avoiding. So I'm gonna be doing just that. I'm also super excited that I get to finish up the rest of my quarantine on the farm because I'm technically not allowed to leave the property, but when you live on 80 acres, that's not an issue. So I'll get to be outside and it's calving season. So I'm so excited for that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're someone who's currently looking to return to Canada, I hope this was informative and useful and even a bit reassuring because I know a lot of the media that I had seen before coming was super negative and it was all horror stories and I was really nervous about what to expect. But it hasn't been that bad aside from being super duper expensive. And so I just wanted to share my experience with you all. This certainly isn't a perfect system and the price tag is absolutely insane. And it really sucks for people like myself who are coming back to Canada for essential reasons and not just taking vacations to Hawaii. And so it's kind of frustrating to have to deal with this extra cost, especially when you were gonna comply with quarantine anyways. But it is what it is, and we just make the most of it, I guess. I'm grateful because I believe there's gonna be some funding available for Tokyo long-listed athletes like myself who are coming back to Canada to prepare for the Olympics. And so I know that'll be a huge relief for myself if I'm able to get some of these costs reimbursed, but we'll see what happens. But anyways, thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. There's plenty of adventures coming up, and I'll see you next time.